Welcome to the month end sector review for the March 2023. First, let's quickly look into the sector performance on a higher time frame, that is a monthly time frame. Uh, we are looking at the performance of the various sectors. For the last one year, you can see the banking sector on a monthly time frame is still it is uh, strong the auto sector was doing well but the last month in march it uh, did not do well consumption has not been doing well for the it has been weakening for the last two months energy was doing badly for the last three months fin services uh, it was bad for almost half of the year and then it started improving it has been doing well. The FMCG is one of the strongest sectors, as you can see, for almost last 10 months uh, or 9 months, it has been doing quite well. The infra was uh, doing good and in between it, it was underperforming. And the last month, of course, we could see that it is again uh, shown out performance compared to the overall market. Uh, media is a lagging sector, so we will not look at it. Uh, the metals were uh, doing well, then it was uh, underperforming in the last two months. You can see the slight improvements here. MNCs were doing well, but the last two months we saw it weakening. The pharma is uh, an underperforming sector. The PSU banks have been doing well, but of the last three months the, it has gained more strength here. The reality uh, is again underperforming almost for the entire year. The Nifty uh, services sector, we can see some uh, improvements in the last three months. The IT uh, was lagging for quite some time and it's seeing some improvement in the last month. Now going into a, a lower time frame, that is a weekly time frame. Let's look at how these sectors have been performing. The Again, the banking, temporary dip, and then again, of performance. Auto was uh, leading for some time, and then it is again under, uh, underperforming. It is weakening, and the consumption has been doing well for the last three weeks. Services sector, again, a strong performer. Again, the FMCGs, we said it is the strongest performer. You can see it continuously outperforming and in gaining in strength. Infra has been uh, doing uh, well for almost a month now. And the MNCs were doing well, uh, but all the other sectors you can see are underperforming here. And the uh, NIF, the NSC IT, you can see it. It was uh, performing well for some time and then again it started weakening. And as we, we know all know that the last two weeks they were quite uh, underperformers. So coming to the immediate time frame, we can see that uh, the bank nifty underperformed the previous week, but the last week uh, it improved and it has been outperforming, gaining strength. Consumption as was doing well, but it is weakening. Energy was doing well, but it's again weakening. The FMCG, again, we said it is the strongest sector here. Infra was doing well, but the last week it started to lag. As you can see from the chart, it has gone into the underperformance mode. Media, again, the same story. The metals, uh, we saw that it was doing badly in the weekly uh, as well. Now it is uh, becoming a lagging sector. MNCs, again, is weakening. Surprisingly, we can see that the pharma sector did outperform in the last two weeks. Though on the higher time frames, you can see they were totally underperforming, but the last two weeks, saw some improvement so we will again later look at the chart in detail to see what is happening here it could be quite interesting and the, as we know 
the IT sector has been a rank underperformer in the last two weeks, especially after the uh, banking crisis in the US. Now, from all this, what we can find out is the strongest sector is the FMCG followed by the fin services. Then you also the banking is doing well. Um, we can see some in, uh, improvement in infras and the uh, pharma security sector. So we will quickly have a look at that as well in detail. So let's start moving into the detail analysis of each of these uh, four sectors which were identified. First, let's move to the banking sector. The banking sector uh, performance has been summarized in this uh, slide here. We can see uh, the monthly, uh, weekly and the daily here. We can uh, see it, it was quite strong on the monthly time frame and the weekly dipped in between and then again it's leading as you can see in the sector moment here it was strong it dipped into, into the weakening mode then it became a lagging sector and now it's again started leading here this is the weekly sector moment and the daily also you can see it was little weak and that it is improving weekly temporary dip down and then again it is on the positive side and the, it has always given a positive alpha for the almost the entire uh, uh, three months, last three months here. And the volatility, of course, has been in, uh, increasing and it is now, it's quite high here, as you can see, but the last week saw a little lower volatility here. Uh, the, this is the gains in the volatility of the sector itself. Now let's uh, have a look at the chart of the bank nifty. I have the chart of the bank nifty here. We all know that the bank nifty has been moving down, making lower lows and lower highs here. But from February onwards, you can see the movement has been more of sideways here with a temporary dip into the support zone, quickly bouncing back. Technically, you can see that it is made a higher low and now making a higher high. But we have the supply line here, which has to be crossed first. And then, of course, we have the previous uh, rejection zone at 41980 and 41648. Uh, if you look at the overall performance, so you can see the relative strength has been positive here. It has outperformed the uh, overall market here and the buying pressure has been increasing here. And if you look at the wave chart as well, you can see the buy wave has become strong now. Till this time, you can see the sell waves were strong. Now there was a temporary, you know, in, in uh, indifference and then you can see the buying wave becoming stronger. So we can expect the Nifty to move up. Of course, we have the two resistances here, uh, which is the supply line and of course it has to uh, cross this uh, previous rejection zone. But most likely it is uh, it will test this uh, rejection zone and for 42,000 will be a crucial area for the bank nifty. But in general, we can expect uh, outperformance to continue in the coming week as well. Now, let us look at the financial services sector here. You can see that on the monthly time frame, of course, it, uh, from last September, uh, it has been doing quite uh, well. I mean, I, it has been outperforming the overall market. And the weekly, there was a temporary dip here, and then now it has been outperforming. You can see here, it is uh, 
was doing well, then a dip into weakening mode, and then now it's again started outperforming. On the daily time frames, of course, the, you can see the last week it did quite well. These are the charts for the daily and weekly. You can see daily from negative, it has gone into positive. And on the weekly, it is a slight dip and then it has uh, been improving. So it is still in the positive territory or the outperformance territory only. So this is again a strong sector. Now let's look at the chart of the uh, financial services. Here I have the chart of the financial services uh, index. Now we can see the uh, structure is very, very similar to the bank nifty structure. You can see uh, there's a slight improvement in the last uh, two weeks. You can see almost two weeks more, more than two weeks. It is uh, in technically it is made a, a higher low and a higher high, but we still have the supply line to cross and also the previous rejection zone to be there. But one good thing you can see a huge increase in volume has been happening here. So this outperformance is likely to continue in the coming week as well. So quickly looking at the uh, other parameters, you can see if the relative strength has been quite uh, positive here, the buying pressures has increased. And also in the wave chart, you can see now uh, after quite some time, you can see the uh, buy wave is becoming uh, stronger here. So like we said, the outperformance of this uh, sector is likely to continue, but we have the crucial supply line and the previous rejection zone. So the important level for us is 18,466. Now let's uh, look at the FMCG. You can see it has been the strongest sector for quite some time on the monthly time frame. Last nine months, it has been quite strong. In the last three months, it has been strong and improving continuously. And the daily time frames also, it has been quite strong. So it is one of the strongest uh, sectors here. So let's now look at the chart as well. Here I have the chart of the FMCG index. We can see that while most of the other indices and the overall market has been making lower lows and lower highs, this has been moving more of sideways with an upward inclination. So in general, the movement has been slightly upward, but right now it uh, it is below this rejection zone here. And it is well above the uh, 200 DMA, one of the few sectors which is above the 200 DMA. The public sector banks, uh, they are above the, they are standing on the 200 DMA while the fin services is just nudged above the 200 DMA, but this one is clearly standing above the 200 DMA. And also it is right now above the other uh, 50 DMA and lower uh, moving averages as well. But in order to move up uh, further, it has to uh, cross this rejection zone here. That is at 4,000, uh, 46,445,980. It has to move beyond this uh, level. But I expect it to continue to move in this sluggish upward uh, kind of move. Uh, but it'll, the movement will be always uh, on the higher side in the coming future or the near future. Quickly looking at the relative uh, strength, it has been quite uh, positive. 
with temporary dips below the uh, average and also now you can see the there is a tussle between the buying and selling pressure we need to see uh, see more buying coming in to push it up beyond the uh, rejection zone the same is reflected in the uh, buying uh, and selling ways you can see it's more of a, a tussle you can say between the buyers and sellers here seen here no clear dominance of the uh, buying or the selling pressures here so but we can uh, expect this to continue to move upwards but although it could be a sluggish upward move A quick look at the infra sector. As you can see, it has been doing quite well since September last year. Then it started weakening and then went, went into underperformance. And But last month it started outperforming here. On the weekly time frame as well, you can see there was a temporary dip here and then it again it started doing well. On the daily time frame, you can see the last week, uh, the, the previous week it was doing well, and the last week it started uh, some underperformance uh, here. Here, you can see it has gone down here. Let's quickly look at the chart uh, of this. I have the chart of the Nifty Infra here. As you can see, the structure is very, very different from that of the nifty or the bank in uh, bank nifty it, it now the last two months it has been moving more of sideways here it, it was not really making a, a lower low lower high kind of thing it is more of a sideways move here okay as you can see here now uh, we have the rejection zone here now let's look at the, the relative strength has been positive as you can see but uh, the buying pressure is sort of waned here that is why you can see the last week we saw some underperformance and the wave chart also uh, the buying waves are little dominant so uh, I, I I will not be surprised if the coming week we saw more weakness coming into the infra sector. Let us quickly look into the chart of Nifty Pharma. We saw that uh, the last two weeks it was performing better. So just curious, let's look into it. And the pharma sector has been doing quite badly from almost 2021 onwards it has been going down uh, with uh, some temporary outperformance now and then but overall it has been going down here so let us uh, zoom into the latest period as you can see after uh, almost reaching a bottom it is now it's trying to move up and you can see good volumes have increased here good volumes coming up here and if you look at the uh, relative strength also has become positive and the buying pressure is increasing and the wave chart also says that slight uh, increase in the buying uh, here uh, waves uh, are slightly started dominating here so we can expect it to go up further here but we still have uh, resistances coming up here and it has to cro cross uh, the 200 dma so it is a sector we need to watch but at least we on the immediate terms you can see some improvement coming in the sector looking at the chart
With this, we come to the end of the sector analysis for the month of March. In case you find this uh, video useful, please do uh, press the like button. Thank you.